Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're painting the Pike Syndicate foot soldiers from Star Wars Legion. These are quite the fun infantry kit, and I've had a lot of fun painting them. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted these models. To get these models ready for painting, I've primed them using Ultra Matte Slate Paint Plus Primer from Rust-Oleum, but you could use any gray or black primer that you want. The first thing we're going to do in this project is we're going to take Elysian Green and we're going to use this as the base color for all of the skin on the model. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Beal Tan Green and we're going to wash this heavily over all of the green skin. After that shade is dried, we're going to take Elysian Green and we're going to layer this back over all of the ridges and raised surfaces of the skin on this model. But we're going to leave any spots where the shade is pulled up with the darker color showing through. Next we're going to take Ogren Camel and we're going to do an additional layer of highlighting, this time focusing on the spots where the light would catch the most and anywhere we want to draw attention to on the skin on this model. With the skin all done, it's time to start working on the clothing on this model. We're going to start with Corn Red and we're going to use this as the base color for the tunic on these models. We're going to shade all of the red fabric on this model using Karaberg Crimson. You can go as heavy as you'd like with this particular shade, it won't make too much of a difference in the end. Once we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take Wazdaka Red and we're going to use this to layer over all of the raised ridges, the creases and folds in the tunic. Our next step in this project is to take Xandru Dust, and this model has a sort of padded fabric that is underneath the armor panels, both on his chest plate and on his arm gauntlets. We're going to paint those padded fabric parts using this color. Once we've finished up with that, we're going to take Seraphim Sepia, and we're going to do a light wash of this color over all of the tan areas we painted in the previous step. After that shade is dried, we're going to bring Xandru Dust back again, and we're going to layer this over all of the most exposed and most obvious surfaces of the padded fabric armor. With that all done, our next detail is to take Skaven Blight Dinge, and we're going to paint this on the pants on this model. Now we're going to take Lead Belcher and we're going to paint this on all of the metal armor plates on this model. And this includes the mask that covers the face on the pikes. With those base colors in place, we're now going to take Contrast Basiliconum Gray and we're going to use this as a wash over both the gray pants and the silver armor that we painted in the previous two steps. Once that contrast paint is dried, we're going to take Dawnstone and we're going to layer this over all of the wrinkles and creases in the pants. Next, we're going to take Iron Breaker and we're going to layer this over all of the flat surfaces on the armor. And this is going to bring back a shinier, more pearlescent appearance to our metal. Once we've finished up with that layer of paint, we're going to take Stormhost Silver and we're going to do an additional layer of highlighting, but this time we're focusing on the spots where the light is reflecting most aggressively off of the armor and we're just enhancing that reflection. Now that the armor's done, we need to take care of any leather straps that appear on the model. We're going to use Mornfang Brown as the base color for this. This includes a strap around the waist as well as straps that appear on the upper arm of the models. We're going to shade all of the leather straps on the model using Agrax Earthshade. And you don't want to go too heavy with this because you don't want it to leak over onto the other colors that are around the straps. 
After that shade is dried, we're going to take Xandri Dust and we're going to use this to edge highlight all of the leather on the model. And if you're not good at highlighting edges, you can go ahead and skip this step because you might find that it ends up making the model look worse if you mess it up. Now if you really feel like an overachiever, you can take Averlin Sunset and you can very carefully paint this in the eyes on the helmets of each of the models. Our final step in this project is to take Cassandora Yellow and we're going to very carefully just dab a little bit of this in each of the eye sockets on the helmets of these models. And this is going to give the yellow eyes a more shaded appearance. And with that, we finished painting our Pike Syndicate foot soldiers. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and like the video and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos that I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video and you'll gain access to exclusive perks such as a members only discord where you can chat directly with me whenever you'd like. As always, have an amazing day and we'll catch you in the next one.